What's up boys? Just finished up the session for today. Today was snatches. In previous videos, I've been talking about how I have like this neck impingement and basically it's leaving my pointer finger and my middle finger essentially like numb all the time. Obviously I've done some research on it and it's like my radial nerve or something like that. I've been gliding it. I've been sliding it. I've been doing all those things, man. I would say about the only thing I haven't done is pretty much not use it. So even though I have been lifting with this pinched nerve for like the past month or so, I haven't really gave it an official rest. So that's something I'm really thinking about doing, but let's take a look at today's workout. Today's workout, not too terrible. I worked my way up through the weights as I normally would, except just like I talked about in the last video, I stuck two, two and a half plates on the inside. All my other weights just went on just like a normal lifting session. So basically every two weeks, I'm going to be increasing the total weight by five pounds. And once again, that's two and a half pounds on each side. So if I'm doing that bi-weekly, obviously within a month's time, I'm increasing my workout weights by 10 pounds. If you're anything like me, whether you do squats or deadlifts, whenever you enter the gym and you start warming up and you start putting on weight, I start off with just the bar obviously i'll do some warm-ups i'll do some muscle snatches in this case i might do some muscle snatches into an overhead squat i might even do some snatch grip deads with my chest still over the bar as i pull the bar into my hips but pretty much i'll work up from the bar i'll put on 225 so you know that's 95. normally i jump to 135 so that's 245s then i'll put on two 15 pound plates so you know that's 165. i'm not going to go all the way up the entire scale but i think you get the point that all of us i guess have a certain bracketing when it comes to like warming up to our working out weight, whatever rep scheme we're doing for that day. And so all I've done, like I said, is I've just added two and a half pound plates on each side. And then I'm just gonna continue to load the bar as I normally would on a normal workout day. I'm gonna do this for the back squats, the overhead squats, the cleans, the jerks, pretty much every single lift and exercise or movement that I do is gonna have the extra two and a half pounds on each side bi-weekly. So we'll see how that goes. I'm testing it out. This morning, I wasn't too satisfied with my performance. You know what I'm saying? I didn't, I didn't, I don't think I got up past 185. I don't even think, I think I got underneath 185 or was it 190? And there you go. There's a good example right there because I thought it was 185 and I forgot, I forgot I put those two, two and a halfs on. So it's no longer 185. It's, it's 190. But nevertheless, that's definitely not the reason why I wasn't able to stand up the 185. I just felt weak today overall. So today I had to swallow my pride, boys. I had to take it down from 190 down to 170. And that actually, that was a good idea, man. That's that's something that I should have did early on in the workout today. I should have just dipped it down as soon as I felt that I wasn't strong for the day. But in any case, I ended up making the right decision, went down to 170 and got some pretty good technical work in for today. The goal today was to pull the bar all the way up into my hip by way of really flexing that back and pulling that bar in close, reaching full extension first before making my way back down or retreating back down into the overhead squat position for the snatch catch. Wasn't able to do that every single time, but I ended up doing it at least for these particular snatches that I'm showing you guys right now. Overall went pretty good. I really can't complain a whole lot. As far as my upcoming weeks or two weeks of rest, I'm not sure I'm gonna go ahead and put it on hold. My inner gut feeling is telling me to take a week off or maybe even two, but we'll see. I guess that's why you have to subscribe to this channel so you could find out. But in any case, guys, if this is your first time on this channel, this is six of six. I give you guys some examples of what you can do for Olympic weightlifting style workouts, particularly for older athletes or even potentially athletes that have been away from Olympic weightlifting for maybe a couple years or CrossFitters that are maybe looking at into doing some more Olympic lifts. If any of that interests you, man, don't hesitate to check out some of the other videos on this channel. Thanks for dropping in.